We're back with another Madden 23 tournament. I do want to apologize. I haven't filmed the tournament in almost a week. I've been really busy. I couldn't find any time to film. But now I found some time. So let's get into it. All right, Group B, you're all the last one. So you better turn up. Group B will take place in Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana, home of the Indianapolis Colts. First up in round one in Group B, we have the Houston Texans taking on the AFC East champions, the Buffalo Bills. All right, here we go. 12 teams has already moved on to round two. There are still four more spots available. And here we go. And Group B is underway. End of the first half, and so far it's been all Bills as they lead 20 to nothing. The Texans will get the ball to start the second half. However, they are down by 20, so they need to get a score on this drive. Will the Texans make a comeback, or will the Bills continue to dominate this game? Update is we're halfway to the fourth quarter, and look at this. The Bills were up 20 to nothing going into halftime, and now they're only leading by three. The Bills just have not come up with anything in the second half. They do have the ball, however. It's third and inches. Will they be able to hang on? Will they be able to get this first down? Update with 90 seconds to go. The Bills did get a field goal, but the big story, after trailing 20 to nothing, the Texans have taken the lead up 24-23. The Bills do have the ball, however, they are in field goal range. So the Bills have a chance to waste the clock and kick a game-winning field goal. The Bills are facing a second and two. We'll see what happens. All right, so the Bills did get the field goal to get the lead back. Texans have the ball with one second left. It's third and six. They're not going to be able to get a field goal. We'll see if they can try to get the Hail Mary and get the game-winning touchdown. And they do not. So the Bills, after up, after leading 20 to nothing, had a scare for a second, but they survived 26 to 24 over the Houston Texans. The Bills will be moving on to round two. And for the Texans, they came so, so close. But unfortunately, they could not get the job done. Up next, you'll see the Denver Broncos taking on the runner-ups in the AFC in the AFC North champions, the Cincinnati Bengals. End of the first half, and right now the Bengals are up by 10. This game could be a lot closer, or maybe the Broncos could have the lead by now. But turnovers has been hurting the Broncos. The Bengals get the ball to start the second half, so we'll see what happens. Update with six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. The Bengals were pulling away, but the Broncos made it back to a 10-point game. Bengals have the ball, but they are facing a third and three. Let's see if the Broncos can come up with a stop. By the way, the Bengals converted on a third and 27. That's something you like to see if you're a Bengals fan. Update with a minute left. The Bengals did get the first down, but the Broncos was able to get a stop anyways. The Broncos have the ball in the red zone. They need to get a score to stay alive in this game. The Broncos are facing a third in inches, so we'll see what they can do. So the Broncos did get a field goal to make it a seven-point game, but the Bengals recovered the onside kick. The Broncos had a chance to get a stop to tie this game up, but they could not. So the Bengals get a 31-24 win over the Broncos, so the Bengals will be moving on to the next round. Our second-to-last game in round one, we have the fifth seed New York Giants taking on the fourth seed Detroit Lions. End of the first half, and so far it's been a competitive game as the Giants lead 14-10. to After the Lions' defense allowed a touchdown on the third play of the game, they came up with two first-quarter interceptions but could not capitalize on any of them. The Lions do get the ball to start the second half, so we'll see if they can go down by one or maybe take the lead. Update with nine minutes left in the game. So far, the Giants lead by eight. So far, this Lions defense does not have anything for this Giants offense in the second half. Daniel Jones just threw a 79-yard touchdown pass, longest touchdown pass in this tournament so far. However, the Lions just recently threw a 49-yard touchdown pass to make it an 8-point game. The Giants are getting the ball back, but if the Lions want to stay alive in this game, they need to step up now. Update with under 2 minutes to go, and the Giants have extended their lead. The Lions defense just cannot get anything going. Lions had to go for a fourth down, could not convert, which led to a Saquon Barkley touchdown the very next play. The Lions are starting to get close to the red zone. However, it might be a little too late, so we'll just see what happens. So the Lions did get a garbage time touchdown. However, it's the Giants who will be moving on the round two. They went 38-27. to The Giants will be moving on, as I mentioned, and the Lions have been eliminated. For the final game in Group B, in the final game in round one, I saved the best for last. 
you'll see an AFC West showdown between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Chargers. Now here's the deal. If the Raiders win, they are the sixth seed. They will be the highest seed remaining. They will take on the Buffalo Bills in round two. If the Chargers win, the Chargers are the third seed and the Giants will be the highest seed remain. So the Giants would take on the Bills and the Chargers would take on the Bengals. End of the first half and so far this has been a great game. Raiders are up by one. This game started off with Derek Carr throwing a pick six. But since then it's been a back and forth game. The Chargers will get the ball to start the second half so we'll see what happens. Update with seven minutes to go in the game. The Chargers are up by 18. The Chargers defense has finally stepped up in the second half. The Raiders has not been able to get anything going. Derek Carr threw another interception which led to a Chargers touchdown. The Raiders are getting the ball back. They have a lot of work to do if they want to get back into this. An update with under two minutes to go. The Chargers now lead 56-31. Ever since the second half begun, it's been all Chargers with a score of 29-3. So it looks to be a Chargers win. We'll see if the Raiders can at least make it a little closer. So the Chargers will be picking up the 56-31 win, dominating second half by the Chargers. The Chargers will be moving on the round two and taking on the Bengals. If I'm ever, if I'm teams in the second round, more specifically teams in Group B, I would watch out for the Chargers. Their offense was dangerous today. And there you have it. Round one of Group B is in the books. This group had more high scoring than any other group. The most points scored in Group B was 56 by the Chargers. And the least amount of points scored in Group B was the Texans and the Broncos with 24. The best game in round one in Group B, it could be any of these four games. But I would have to go with the Broncos and the Bengals. The Raiders-Chargers game could have taken that top spot if it wasn't for that second half dominated by the Chargers. And combining all four groups, the most points scored was the Chargers in Group B with 56. And the least points scored was the Jets with 3 in Group D. And the best game out of all four groups in round one would have to be Packers-Panthers in my opinion. And there you have it. Round one is set. Now it's time for round two. The Sweet 16. So on round two in group A, you'll have Rams versus Eagles and Seahawks versus Jaguars. In round two in group B, you'll have Giants versus Bills and Chargers versus Bengals. In round two in group C, you'll have Steelers versus 49ers and Panthers versus Bucks, which will be the only division rival matchup in round two. In the second round in group D, you'll have Browns versus Vikings and Colts versus Patriots.